What is up YouTube? We are back with our 10 Principles of Economics mini-series inside our mega-series of Bank of Exile. Today we're here with part 9 as we talk about inflation or too much money being in circulation in the market. What happens when there's too much uh, currency inside a market? Uh, how does that impact the market? And what does that look like in Path of Exile? So let's jump right in. The section principle here from uh, Greg Mankiw is that when the government or game developers creates a large amount of in-game currency or money, the resulting change is the value of currency falls. So when there's more money inside the economy, each individual piece of money becomes valued less simply because there's more of it. It's scarcity is uh, is is less there's less scarcity so what is inflation you may hear economists talk about inflation you may hear people in the news talking about inflation inflation as it relates to poe is this definition of inflation sustained increase in the overall level of prices in the economy so there are a couple of ways to look at this but some historical examples of inflation what does inflation look like when it actually goes into practice historically so first off the first example is hyperinflation in the weimar republic or otherwise known as germany uh, in the 1920s so the basic summary of this was uh, that in order to pay for the great amount of debt and uh, costs that was world war one for germany uh, germany actually suspended the gold standard Standard, and uh, in other words, suspended the ability to convert their actual their their dollars, their money that people carried around with them, backed by gold, uh, when the war broke out during uh, uh, World War One, and then um, Wilhelm the Second and the German. Parliament decided unanimously to fund the war uh, entirely by going into debt, by borrowing, um, rather than actually paying from the treasury that the republic had themselves. So then in order to pay uh, for things inside their own economy, in order to pay back their debts, they simply increased uh, the currency that they were producing. So did that change the value of the currency that they had? You betcha it did, because there's more of it. There's a ton more of it. Uh, so let's say, for instance, um, that I've got uh, a penny and I tell you that this penny is worth one penny uh, and so I give you the penny and you go hey I've got a penny now but if I've got the ability to simply print as many pennies as I want then the value of your penny goes down because at first you go hey I got a penny from G3 iron and this is the only one in existence but then as soon as I start printing more and more and more and more pennies there's lots of other people out there that are going hey we also got pennies so the value of each individual penny goes down the more there are that are out there. The same happens for limited edition trading card games. The same thing happens for um, limited edition uh, comic books. The same thing happens for limited edition cars. Certain types of cars only run a certain number of car manufacturing. Manufacturing plants only run a certain number of cars on certain models. So this is a principle that applies to all sorts of different things. It's not just to money. It's that there's scarcity involved, but it also does apply to money, into currency, into economic systems. The more currency there is in a system, the less value there is uh, in the overall economy to each and every single piece of currency and that affects prices in the overall economy namely prices generally go up because there's more of the currency which means in order to make the same amount of value you've got to charge more so examples in poe are actually right now an incursion league uh, so the chaos value an incursion league is ridiculous uh, in terms of the chaos value uh, ratio from chaos to exalted. It is ridiculous. It's actually above the level of what it was uh, in standard. And so we're actually starting to see for the first time really in POE uh, where standard prices are actually bumping up and having to adjust to an inflation price in a league. Now, a couple of reasons for this are because so many people are playing incursion league. Uh, more people are playing incursion league than have ever played POE in the past, which means there's, there's more chaos entering the economy. You and I are actually creating chaos chaos every single time we're running maps and we're doing the chaos recipe or we're simply finding more chaos. So there's more and more chaos that's entering into the economy. Now you may wonder, well, iron, wait a minute, there's more and more exalteds also entering the economy too. So why is the ratio off? Well, simply because there's way more ability to make chaos faster uh, than to actually produce and make uh, exalted orbs. That ratio is set that way because exalted orbs in POE are the gold standard. They're the thing that backs the value off of everything else. It's kind of like Bitcoin with cryptocurrencies. 
uh, exalted orbs are like Bitcoin. They're the thing that everything else follows. So all the other ratios and trades and values derive their uh, values and their ratios off of that one mega um, mega sustaining currency, which for Bitcoin, it's Bitcoin. For cryptocurrencies, it's Bitcoin. For POE, it's exalted orbs. Uh, and chaos orbs then become the cash based off of the gold standard uh, that everybody uses. So if you're wondering, hey, wait a minute. So inflation means there's a ton of chaos involved uh, inside the economy. What does this mean for me on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, the takeaway is the more currency that's printed in the economy, the less valuable each piece uh, of currency becomes. So for you and for me, what this means is every time a chaos drops, now it's actually much less valuable in the overall economic um, landscape than let's say if we played POE two years ago or if we played POE three years ago or if we played POE four years ago when the ratios were more like one chaos to 40 exalts throughout the cost of a league or throughout the timeline of a league. Nowadays, you've got chaos going for 160, 170 chaos uh, for one exalted orb. So the prices are simply massive in terms of the amount of inflation that there is in the market. And this is why you see items that maybe in the past cost one chaos, two chaos, three chaos are now costing five, six, seven, 10, 25 chaos because there's uh, more chaos that's being printed and chaos isn't leaving the economy as quickly. Uh, so one way to combat inflation is of course to remove uh, the uh, inflated currency from the economy. And chaos and, and games often do this by making you spend the in-game currency. So for chaos, it's using chaos to craft items. But nowadays people aren't using chaos to craft items. The big meta crafters are just using exalts um, primarily to craft their items. They're not chaos spamming items as much and people don't need to chaos spam maps as much anymore because reflect isn't nearly as common and it's not as nearly as big a deal for so many builds because so many different builds have a have a way to deal with um, reflect and also people aren't running uh, righteous fire as much and so if you run a map that says players cannot regenerate or have reduced regeneration of energy shield and life there's simply less people running that which means there's less people spending their chaos on maps there's less people spending their chaos on crafting and so overall we have more chaos sitting in the economy we have more players playing in the economy, uh, playing in the league, and so therefore we've got this massive case of inflation going on in PoE right now. All right, well, if you liked the video, go ahead and give us a subscribe down below and leave us a comment if you've got thoughts or feedback uh, for us or thoughts about inflation in the economy of PoE. And as always, stay tuned and keep playing Bank of Exile.